<laughs> We're going to randomize each list seven times a piece in just a moment. Let me get this ready here. Okay. We're going to stack the lists up side by side right here in this little spreadsheet. So we're going to randomize this one seven times. We're going to randomize the other one seven times. And we'll get them side by side. <laughs> All right, here's the lucky number seven. One of the many Nathans. Right, we got we got two Nathans in this one. <laughs> we always have a lot of Nathans around. <laughs> and here comes the weight class random. Oh yes, you're right. Well, technically, let me see. Technically, I would have put the asterisks. I can tell you. Um, let's pick one. Let's pick one to put it on because it really doesn't matter right now. We don't have the the weight clay. The classes have not been distributed. So you guys know which one is which. Which one should I put the hashtag on? This one or this one? Sorry, I can't believe I forgot to do. It. I got sidetracked. Sorry, Andrew. So, uh, what do you think? Okay. All right. So it's good. It's good, especially because we didn't get to this random. Okay, so put it right here. All right. So it's not ruined. It's not ruined because we haven't done the big random yet. All right, so here we go. All right, time for the big random here where we can see who gets which weight class. Seven times. Lucky number seven. And good luck, everybody. Now you can see your weight class in the rip. Oh, my. Uh, Mr. K, they all can be pretty good. They sure can. They all can be pretty good. I'm going to put this in alphabetical order. And Mr. K, I'm going to link you up. With the eBay page I've been looking at. It probably won't work though. because. But this goes in alphabetical order by weight class. But you can type in. Or you can put in to uh, eBay. You know UFC Prism. And just look at all the top hits for thousands man. My gosh. They're out there. It's a. It's a pretty hardcore product when it comes to just values I, like I said I doubt this link will work because it's you know eBay is like password and stuff yeah it's not going to work but that's how you want to do it is go to eBay and just look at all the different ones <laughs> yeah, this can become very addictive. <laughs> this can become very addictive. All right, let's see a big hit. 
Let's see a big hit coming out of here. Oh, there she is again. Got a nice instant impact right there. Bantamweight. Rookie card for the welterweight owner. Right, good things are happening in the UFC blaster box. Looks like we might have a green pulsar coming up. Oh, that's exactly what this is. It's going to be a pulsar. Oh, right, a pulsar for the light heavyweight owner. Congratulations, Mr. K, with a prism coming out of the rip. Nice. This is the green pulsars. These aren't numbered. Some of the other green ones actually have a number stamped. But this is the pulsar that is not numbered. But it's still a great prism to get. There are a lot of other bigger prisms that we're looking for, though. But every box is guaranteed to have some of those pulsars. <clears throat> We want to see a blue or a gold. That'd be that would mean that we've hit something really huge. But what's cool about this is it's the debut of a sport in it in this product. And then you, there's a lot of really good rookies in the USC right now. So a lot of the base cards are really sought after just because of those two reasons. Here's a big one. It's Nagano. Fireworks. So that's a nice one. This one, uh, this Nagano, the Predator. I would assume he's heavyweight. I was trying to figure that out by the back of the card. I was unable to figure out the weight class, but I would assume he is heavyweight. So here's a rookie car right here. Congratulations. That is uh, that is um, lightweight with this rookie. Awesome fight over the weekend featuring Oliveira. He came away really magnificent. I have much respect for that dude. That was so awesome, the fight over the weekend. Oh, my gosh. If you didn't see it, it's definitely worth seeing it. Our, our last weekend was incredible in the UFC. Another rookie card here. Oh, my. We pulled a silver. Oh. Bantamweight. Mr. K hits a silver. Nice one. Boom. That's a good hit. I don't really know how good, but I mean, hey, it's it's a silver, so I mean it might be worth a hundred bucks, might be worth fifty bucks, somewhere in that range, something like that. Here's another green pulsar. Fireworks. Robert Whitaker. The Reaper. And right off, I'm not sure Robert Whitaker's weight class. So I'll, have to, I'll check on that at the end of the break. <laughs> Mr. K. Lots of fun, Mr. K. <laughs> it is, man, because you know you can hit some big ones in here and... You might really uh, get a, a like in UFC after watch after 
find out about some of these hits because uh, it is a great sport. I, I've I've actually started to get into it a little bit myself. Nice Nagano. Yeah, let's go ahead and look up the silver as that concludes this break. Let's see let's see if we can find the value of that. 